Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering different Git server implementations, what is Docker intermission, what is Gerrit, what is pull request model, and also I will explain what is GitLab. Guys, I have uploaded complete DevOps subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. It first, I will explain different Git server implementations. Guess whenever you develop any project, at first we will store our project in Git software. From Git software, we will copy our project into various servers like GitHub, GitLab and Bigbucket. From Git, in order to copy our project into various servers, you need to use same Git commands. For example, if you want to copy your project from Git to GitHub, you need to write same Git commands. And similarly, if you want to copy your project from Git to GitLab, you need to write same Git commands. So, if you want to copy your project from Git to various servers, you need to use same Git commands. There is no change. And each server has different features and benefits. And you can also work with all the servers at your time. Git is a system that allows you to work with multiple copies of your project. These copies can be on different servers like GitHub, GitLab, Bigbucket, etc. to see which one is best for you. Each server might have different features or benefits. No matter which server you choose, the way you use Git on your computer will be the same. You need to use same Git commands and tools for different servers. You can work with more than one Git server at the same time. For example, you can show same project in GitHub and as well as in GitLab. And by using Git software, we can connect to different servers like GitHub, GitLab, Bigbucket, etc. This is all about different Git server implementations. Next, I will explain what is Docker intermission. Docker is a tool that makes easy to package and run applications. Guys, Docker is nothing but it is a software. By using Docker software, we can easily package our application and run our application. Docker helps us test different Git server implementations like GitHub, GitLab, Bigbucket, etc. without much struggle. Guys, I will give an example. By using Docker software, we can test different Git servers. For example, I am using Docker software. My project is present in GitHub. My project is present in GitLab. And my project is present in big bucket. By using Docker software, we can easily connect to the servers and then we can create package and then we can run that project. As Docker packages your application into a container, so your application will run same way on different systems like laptops, desktops, virtual machines, physical servers, etc. And in Docker software, there will be Docker container. So whenever we place our project in container, all users can access that application. For example, one user is using desktop, another one is using laptop, and another one is using physical server, etc. Either it can be any system, our application will work because we are packaging our application and then we are placing that application in container. So whatever system you use, there will not be any problem. Docker containers run independently, so you can test different setups without interfering with others. Guys, in Docker software, there will be multiple containers and in each container we can place one project and this container is not dependent on this container similarly this container will not depend on this container so each container will work independently guys in order to install docker in red hat based systems you need to use this command dnf install docker hyphen io and in order to enable docker you need to use this command systemctl enable docker and in order to start docker software you need to use this command systemctl start docker guys there is also another tool called docker compose by using this tool we can run multiple docker applications together next i will explain what is gerrit for example let us say there are four developers who are developing college application each developer will write code in his own system and there is github server in that github server there is main code base main code base is nothing but it is a place where complete project code is stored Whenever we place code in main code base, automatically this code is tested and then this code is placed in server. But whenever developer write code, they are not going to place complete code directly into GitHub. Before that, whenever developer write code, at first that code is reviewed by senior developers in order to check whether that code is correct or not. Only if that code is correct, then that code is placed in main code base. So whenever developer write code, at first we will send that code into Gerrit software. In that Gerrit software, senior developers will review that code. Only if that code is correct, 
that changes are reflected into main code base which is present in github server so gerrit is a place where developers will submit their code for review gerrit is a tool for reviewing and approving code changes before they are merged into main code base whenever any developer makes changes in code that code changes are reviewed by experienced developer before they are merged into main code base gerrit is a platform where developers can submit their code changes for review this ensures that only well reviewed and high quality code modifications are integrated into project next i will explain benefits of gerrit first one is control who can review and approve changes guys each and every developer will not review code only experienced developers will review code so by using gerrit software we can give only permissions to senior developers only they can review code remaining employees cannot review code a next benefit is ensure that only reviewed and approved changes are merged only if senior developer accept that code then that code changes are placed in main code base guys we can run gerrit by using docker software so for that purpose you need to use this docker command in order to start gerrit docker run hyphen d hyphen p 8080 colon 8080 hyphen p 29418 colon 29418 and here you need to give image file location this docker run command is used in order to start new container that will show this garret image where hyphen d stands for detached mode that will run in background and hyphen p stands for port number in this port number our application will run and in order to access gerrit you need to open any web browser and go to this url next i will explain what is pull request model the pull request model is a way of merging code changes where developers make changes in their own copies of repository and then they will request to merge changes into main repository guys i will give an example guys for example i am developer for example in github website in main branch there is complete code related to call a website now i want to do some modifications in this code so as a developer i will download this complete code and then i will modify that code in my system and after modifying code i will send this modified code to repository owner directly i cannot place this code inside this main branch i will send my pull request to repository owner only if this repository owner accept my pull request then my code will be placed in main branch pull request model is a simple process that is widely used especially in open source projects repository owners can review and approve changes before they are merged if any developer want to place code in main branch in github website only if this repository owner accept my request only then my code will be placed in github website these are benefits of pull request model first benefit is encouraging collaboration by allowing multiple people to work on the same project guys multiple people can work on the same project in their own system and they will send pull request to repository owner in order to place that code in main branch only if that repository owner accept only then that code will be placed on main branch and next advantage is my code will be reviewed by repository owner so only quality code will be placed in github next i will explain what is gitlab gitlab is a platform that helps software teams manage their project from starting to finish guys in gitlab you can store your project and as well as you can manage your project from starting to till finish of your project it's like a toolbox that includes everything the developers needs guys gitlab can store git repositories repository is nothing but it is a place where your project is stored GitLab will store your project and as well as GitLab will manage your project using Git software. Guys, whenever any developer make changes in GitLab, then GitLab will store who made changes and when they made changes. And multiple people can work with GitLab at the same time without any problem. And next one is continuous integration and continuous deployment. Guys, whenever any developer plays code in GitLab, then automatically testing is performed on that code and automatically that code is placed in server. And third one is code reviews. guys by using gitlab we can also review code that is nothing but we can check whether code is correct or wrong and next one is issue tracking guys for example if there are any bugs or if any task is pending then automatically gitlab will give notifications and next one is wiki and documentation guys by using gitlab we can show documents in separate location and also we can share the documents and sixth one is security guys gitlab is very secure no one can hack gitlab and next one is integration with other tools guys we can also integrate gitlab with other tools like monitoring tools testing tools deployment tools and so on